How to increase sales with sex. Sex is the best way to market these products. Everybody knows that sex sells, but did you know that there is a specific product group for which it can be used exceptionally well? Let's start a brand new neuromarketing adventure focusing on how sex sells hygiene products by tricking your brain. Marketing Psycho, hacking the brains by button. In this video, I will show you how hygiene product marketeers arouse an irresistible desire in potential customers to be clean. I will explain the principle behind this tactic, and I will expose an additional neuromarketing principle that can multiply the effect of this one. Everything is connected to everything, so if you want to fully understand the concept, then watch this video carefully until the end. Now, let's talk about sex. Sex in advertising campaigns can go both ways. On the one hand, it is an attention grabber. Being able to capture a consumer's attention in this overly crowded world is potentially one of the best qualities an advertisement can have. Additionally, watching a sexual advertisement is a positive and rewarding experience. On the other hand, sex can disgust people. Imagine watching TV with your friends, colleagues, or family. All of a sudden, a naked woman is promoting the newest fragrance by some brand. You go red and avert your eyes. Seeing such a sexual image makes you feel dirty. How and why does sex sell when it can bring about such different feelings in consumers? The answer is given by another neuromarketing principle. What you see is how you feel. In the case of a positive encounter with a sexual advertisement, it can be explained easily. The consumer shifts their attention towards the advertisement, which is a positive and rewarding experience because of the depicted images. The other case, however, where the consumer feels embarrassed or dirty, can be explained by the embodiment effect or embodied cognition. This effect holds that physical experiences can and will overlap with cognitive processes. For example, real distance is felt as psychological distance, out of sight, out of mind. Or, as another example, when an object is portrayed in the advertisement as it is being used in real life, e.g., a smartphone that is being held by someone, consumers have a stronger liking for the ad and the product. Now, in the case of sex and marketing, people feel physically dirty due to embodied cognition. How can you as a marketeer use this in your advantage? You can boost your hygiene product sales simply by using a neuromarketing principle that says, embodied cognition turns physical experiences, seeing a dirty advertisement, into cognitive processes, i.e. actually feeling dirty. You know what you want to do when you're feeling dirty, you want to freshen up, literally cleanse yourself of such a feeling. However, can this feeling be activated by thinking about sex? This is exactly what psychologists wanted to test. They found that, when having thought of casual sex, participants felt dirtier, increase the desire of taking a shower, increase the liking of personal hygiene products, i.e. toothpaste and bar soap, and increase the willingness to pay for personal hygiene products, i.e. facial scrub. Thinking about a romantic setting, e.g. a walk at the beach at sunset, did not lead to the same effects. Their research even went a step further. Could this effect be moderated by one's view on casual sex? It was hypothesized that individuals who hold a more negative standpoint on casual sex would feel dirty and, in turn, would be more likely to have greater liking for personal hygiene products. Individuals who hold a positive view, however, were hypothesized to not fall victim to this effect. They compared several groups of individuals, those with a different political view, Republican, right-wing, versus Democratic, left-wing, religion, religious versus non-religious, and different individual views on casual sex, positive versus negative. The results again confirmed their hypotheses, there is a difference between these groups. Individuals who are Republican, religious, and or hold a negative view on casual sex, did feel dirty after thinking about casual sex, democratic, non-religious, and or individuals with a positive view on casual sex, did not succumb to this effect. This finding opens a door for both behavior scientists, as well as marketeers, how else can the embodiment effect influence the behavior of consumers? Based on the distance effect of embodied cognition, we know that a greater distance between an old price and a new, discounted, makes consumers more likely to perceive the discounted price as actually lower. Same goes for television advertisements in which a camera zooms out, 
leading the consumer to mentally distance themselves from the advertisement. A great effect for when the advertisement is ending, however, not so great when the brand was planning on showing their logo or product at that exact moment. One boundary condition of this new research on sex in advertising is the moderating effect of an individual's view on casual sex. If this is positive, the consumer will not feel dirty and the effect will not hold. However, if the individual has a negative standpoint toward casual sex, they will feel dirty. So, feeling dirty makes consumers more likely to buy hygiene products. They are also willing to pay more for these products. Time to sell your hygiene products. Three thing you should remember. 1. Sex has the ability to make consumers feel dirty, leading them to be more likely to buy hygiene products. 2. This effect holds for people who have a negative attitude towards casual sex. 3. Embodied cognition can be used in multiple advertising settings. And now I'm going to show you the other tactic that you can use to multiply the effect of this tactic and increase your sales even more. The secret is to use the right font in your advertising. There are some fonts that induce urgency in the views, that leads to increased conversion. Watch the next video to find out how you can sell more simply by choosing the right font. If you are ready to take full advantage of the neuromarketing tactics used by big brands, then subscribe to this channel now. In the description of the video you will find additional super powerful resources that can further increase your sales. See you soon.